C6 fam. So I know I did a trick on Tuesday about um, packing. And um, one thing I didn't show that I do normally when I'm going to something, I pack up um, all my jewelry and Ziplocs. So for each outfit, like I lay everything out. So each thing I'm gonna wear has my shoes, like there's my dress, my jewelry, my panties, my bras, everything is there, but then I put them in Ziplocs, so then they're ready to go. So then I pack them together, so when I get there, everything is all together. So I know what I'm wearing, what day, when, and it keeps my packing huh. minimal. That's funny. You didn't do this on our 14-day 14, 14 trip, but you're doing it on like a four-day trip. Well, I normally do it on our 14-day, <laughs> but I was just like crazy. We had so much going on. We had a graduation, birthdays, baseball games, and I literally packed in an hour. So. Great tip. Thumbs up. <laughs> Good morning. It is a big old, big old, big old work day for me. So I'm about to go down and we've got about a six hour meeting and we are promoting uh, people being with us in Orlando. So I've got my, I'm sporting my Disney and it's going to be an awesome day. Like I love, this is one of my favorite things is just celebrating people that work. You know, I think sometimes we think work is a bad thing when it's really like a blessing, like that we're able to work, that we live in a country where we can work, that we have freedom to make as much as we wanna make. And so I just cannot wait to celebrate the people who choose to be winners, who choose to do the work. So it's gonna be an awesome, awesome day for sure. What up, C6 fam? Eating some Chick fil A. You got a you big know. day today. This is how we do it. Yeah, we love Chick fil A. Having a quick lunch. I just got my hair and makeup done by this beauty. Well, Y'all have met Haley before. She came down, she's my friend, and did my hair and makeup. Think I'm good, Haley? Do you feel like I have a dark right there? Well, I think I did really it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, y'all. So we're going to have some lunch. Hey, C6 fam. So this is, hey, C6 fam. So this is kind of funny. Memphis and I, here he is. Say, hey, C6 fam. <laughs> he loves to say sexy. Oh. Is we are headed to look at some bedding for we have a cowboy chic home. Shabby chic, kind of cowboy chic. Very ranch style, very. But then dressy mixed in. So I have chandeliers and fancy stuff mixed in with the with the antlers and the horns. And so it's a real fun house. So anyway, I found a new bedspread I want. I have a white. I like a white in my room. So I'm headed to look at it. This is what's funny. So I called, I was talking to the owner of the store and she invited me to her showroom um, to do like a private little viewing. And I said, okay, well, I'm gonna bring my son. And she's like, oh, how old is your son? <laughs> I said, he's six. And I could tell she was thinking, I do not want this six year old in my showroom. I said, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised when you meet him. So that I can take him to five-star restaurants and he acts good so I'll I'll let y'all know how this goes but Memphis is literally the easiest best little child so I'm not anticipating having an issue but stranger things have happened in my life so we shall see but I'm claiming he's gonna be perfect little angel like he always is. So y'all stay posted. We're headed over.
over to this lady's showroom. and excitement and just blessings like that were just all around me for a week straight and you kind of get on this almost like an emotional high where you're just excited you're you've got hope for your future just you feel fired up and you feel like you could conquer the world and then you go back home and even at my level of leadership there's a little lull just when you get back into the regular world and then you just are kind of dealing with stuff. Now, one thing, I wanted to record this because I think one thing you have to do is protect your mind space and the enemy is always working and I had a conversation with one of my directors this week because she came home and encountered some negativity and she's got huge goals and I mean just blessings all around her just great things happening and the enemy is always using people to distract us and circumstances and problems and what we have to get good at is not feeding into it yes we have to deal with it yes sometimes we have to handle the conflict but we've got to We've got to recognize it for what it is and then protect ourselves because so many times I've, and I've said this a million times, social media is a great place, but it can also be a really, really dark place because people use the platform in the wrong way. They use the platform to give mean or derogatory or negative underlying meanings to things they're posting and it can get very distracting. So what I would challenge you in, and this is just me talking through some things that happened with some people I lead this week, um, it was happening to them, is just protect that brain space. And don't feed into it because what you feed will give more of what you produce. And so I can even find myself, and I know better, getting down just in seeing the wrong things out in the world whether it be on the news whether it's because I can hear there was a murder this last week at my son's college and I mean it really stirred something in my spirit of just sadness and then I found myself kind of feeling sad and I was telling Shannon, I don't know why I felt, I just feel sad. I don't even know these people. And so I think sometimes we just have to protect our spirits. I, I like to know different things from an awareness perspective. Like I want my daughter to be aware. I want my son to be aware that everyone's not like us, that everyone doesn't have good intentions, that there are bad people in the world just to keep us safe. So having that awareness but then I've also got to be aware for my own spirit that sometimes it's not good to know because when it's affecting my psyche and I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling down because I kind of felt down the last couple of days and I noticed it was what I was allowing myself to read, allowing myself to look at that I've got to protect, protect, protect your brain. Protect your mind, protect your family, protect your space. Don't put in the wrong things. If something is negatively affecting you, don't go there. Don't, don't, don't read it. Don't go look on the news feed. You know, I don't even look at the news feed on Facebook because there are things on there I don't want to see. So I'm cautious with that. So be careful. Just be careful. And when you 
do start to feel down. Like I was, I was kind of down last night when we got home. And so I got up this morning and I did a miracle morning first thing. I got up, I got in the word of God, I got in prayer, I journaled, I made my grateful list, I got on the treadmill, I did all the things I know to do so I can set my mind, get my mind set and keep it set for the day on things that are true, on things that are noble, on things that are of good report, excellent things God wants me to be thinking on. And it's not that I want to be Pollyanna and I don't know there's bad out there. I'm very aware of all the bad. But I also don't want that affecting my spirit and affecting my leadership or affecting what I go and do because I'm feeling sad. And when I feel sad, it makes me just not want to do anything. So the enemy knows what to use to affect me. So I have to be smarter and do the right things to keep my mind set and keep it set. There's my little shooky boogie. How could you not be smiling and happy if you're looking at him all day? But y'all, we all have struggles and we all have things. And we all have things that affect us. But it's when you know what affects you and how it affects you and then how to fix it quickly. You've got to fix it fast. And that's when you'll go to the next level. I can tell you for sure. No, y'all don't need to stay up. We're staying up. Maverick, listen. Goodbye. We've got to get you back on a better schedule. In two weeks from now. When, like, school is from See, 6 fam, should they go to bed? No, I should not go to bed. Maverick, what do you do at night? Play with my friends. No, come back and tell me. Me. You don't have any friends yet <laughs> at this house. What do you mean? We play on, on my PlayStation. Yeah. No, you're not getting on the PlayStation. No. What? Games. Please. No. I haven't even mm -mm. been on it. No, you're not getting online at this hour. There's weirdos playing games. Oh at this my hour. god. <laughs> we don't turn have... that off. <laughs> we do not have weirdo friends. Yeah. <laughs> like we literally play with our you friends. I'm don't getting know, on the PlayStation. But... You don't tell me what you're doing. I'm getting Ma on PlayStation. Maverick. Can I please get on PlayStation? Yes. No. Why? And honey, you don't know sometimes who you're playing on those things. Oh my gosh. They're kids from our person. school. But Maverick, honey, don't I don't play with tone. friends. I'm getting mm -hmm. on the PlayStation. Uh, you need to go brush your teeth. I will after I play PlayStation. No. Why? Don't touch your mother that way. Say yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can I play PlayStation? About Look at his two. eyes, how tired he is. I'm not even it? tired. You're red. You They're need to go red. Brush your teeth. You need teeth brush. Do you, are your teeth brushed? Let me see those new teeth coming No, because these allergies. Look. Look mm -hmm. at my nose. It's not allergies. <laughs> Look. Please. I'm oh, after you. Please, see 6 fam. Hey, I want to play PlayStation. No. I don't play with weirdos. I'm not even <laughs> playing online. Your friends are not up this late. I'm playing with Memphis. He's my only friend. <laughs> we're playing Legos. Can we? We are? Yes. Yeah. We're going to play Legos. What's your name? What's one? What do you mean, which one? The one where your levels won't work. Oh. Uh, Bed, watch a movie. Please. I don't just tonight. Pretty please. We haven't, haven't been staying. I up. haven't enjoyed your town. Please. Enjoy your town. Pretty tone. please. <laughs> I acted good at the thingy majigger. <laughs> wherever we were. At the band concert. <laughs> please. 
Memphis, were you good? Yes, he was perfect. He was a sweet little angel. No. From Is heaven. Like no. Band? Yeah, it's pretty cool. No. Can I'm we please? Mommy, please. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> please. Stop. That's, nobody wants to hear that. I want to. People don't like whining children. Please. Say good night to the C6 fan. No, we're not going to bed. Mm. Say good night, Shuggies. But Shug. Good night. And good night, Captain America. <laughs> Please. Well, here we are in bed. And Fancy's eating cereal. This is what I do? Yep. Am I crunching? Oh, yeah, you're crunching. I'm trying to do it real soft. No, you crunch, but it's okay. You get me a complex. Look, is that loud? C6 fan, listen. Let's see if this is loud. <laughs> is it loud? Uh, Look who's in the bed with us, Sean. Yes. Let's see, we have... Lily. This is Lily. And That's then Molly. Molly Kate. And then Astra. Astra. Mm -hmm. They're visiting. And we're about to watch Lily. She heard her name. No angel doll. So oh. Chase not... tired. He went to a birthday party tonight. Mm hmm For a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. His sons put it together. It was his sons and him and my oldest son, Walk. Mm -hmm. And so we went to talk golf and just visited. That's so funny now that Walker has a job. He's like, I gotta get to bed. He's like, Oh, I've He's gotta, gotta work I've work. gotta leave early. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like, Oh my goodness. C six fam, do y'all think Shay should get us a new bag? Oh, dear Lord. Do y'all like this bed? Or do y'all think we should get a new bed? A more in I, style one. Oh. I, the styles have changed. We've had this bed for like eight years. <laughs> no. Styles are changing. We've had it for seven. Or actually not even seven. Mm, or longer. Mm. No, mm -mm. After 2012. That we bought it? Mm -hmm. You might be right. Yeah. He's usually the right one. I mean, I'm not opposed. Do y'all like um, peanut butter crunch? That's what I'm Is that eating. what you're eating? That's the best. Oh, I thought you were eating ketchup crunch. Peanut butter. Oh. I'm not Only a, I don't like, I like peanut butter, but not peanut butter crunch. You don't? Mm-mm. I don't. Oh. My favorite cereals are Rice Krispies. I love Rice Krispies. Um, I like Honey Nut Cheerios. I like... Fruity Pebbles, number one. No. I, number I, one. I mean, I don't mind Fruity Pebbles, but I like Frosted Flakes. You don't mind them? How could you say you don't mind? I mean, I'll eat them if I have to. I, it's not, that's not a cereal of choice. Um, I'm trying to think what else. What were you going to say about our bed? Um, you know, Golden Crisp are real good, not Honey Smacks. Mm -hmm. They're I different. Gold, I love Golden Crisp. Yeah, Golden Crisp are good, not Honey mm -hmm. Smacks. Uh, I love, you know, I wonder, does this happen to you? I love Captain Crunch, but it, like, cuts the top of my mouth. That's what these do, too. Like, the roof of my down. mouth. I'm about to go brush my teeth, by the way. But I like Captain Crunch. I'll go get this out of my teeth. I'm a teeth weirdo. We like cereal in this family. Everyone loves mm -hmm. cereal. Mm -hmm. The kids love Lucky... Memphis loves Lucky Charms. Mm -hmm. The marshmallows. <laughs> yeah, the marshmallows. I like all of them. I like it. everyone you named. I love. You do? Mm -hmm. Every single one. I even like um, regular Cheerios. Oh, you know what's... Which I, I, they said they were limited, but I think they're out all the time. The uh, Fruit Loops with the marshmallows. Oh, I like regular Fruit Loops. Mm, the Fruit Loops with no, the marshmallows you know what are I like? good. Frankenberry, Booberry. 
Those are limited. That's right. They are. Halloween. I don't like. I don't like those at all. Those don't taste good. They're so good. I love them. Those don't taste good. I'm a sucker for. Oh, I look so bad. Um, the holidays. Oh, if it's special, they get you. But it's cool. I eat them. I get it. Are you so tired? Yeah, I guess. So, I'm I'm sorry. I'm done yawning. We're going to get a new bed. <laughs> we are. We'll show y'all what uh, it's going to look like. Mm, oh. I don't think we need a new bed yet. I do. <laughs> <laughs> C6 fam, y'all can comment and vote. Do you think we're getting one? Who's in charge? Oh. Who's in charge? Remember, Kelly? Who's in charge? Oh, well, then well, I guess we'll get a new bed. Oh, you think I'm in charge? Oh, heavens, don't you know it? Yay, let's go to um, Nebraska tomorrow and pick one up. And... All right. Okay. Peace. <laughs> Not going to Nebraska. Yeah. You said we could. I lied. Okay, it's 1230 Let, at night. Let's just paint this one. I don't want this star. star. I don't like this bed. Who picked the bed out? Me. Yeah, you did. I changed my mind. Uh -huh. Well, quick stuff, pick stuff that you won't change your mind. <laughs> How about that? Good luck. Pretend like you're I marrying don't. the furniture. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not marrying. You need to... Like, pick something that you can live with for the rest of your life. I'm not going to never get new furniture for the why? rest of my life. Why? Some people, why? I don't understand that. Don't why do you got to get new furniture? Because I'm tired of this one. Like, I don't get that. That makes no sense it's to me. It's out of style. This oh. is not my style. Oh, my gosh. Well, get something that will stand the test of time. Because a lot of people do. They just get furniture and it lasts forever. You're irritating me. Why is it that you have to have something new? That's just It's like, not a new. It's not a new thing. It's a, okay, does this bed break? Do we have to put this bed back together Okay, often? so if, if everybody started, oh, brick houses are not in. They, everyone has a wood house. People so paint their bricks sometimes because the no. brick starts... Okay, yes, yes. Oh, yes. We, we're going to sell our house and okay. get a wood house? I don't want the attorney side to come out in you. Here's what I want to happen. <laughs> Does this bed break? No, because it had, doesn't have these slats. It should. Does it break? It doesn't break, no. Does it fall over? <laughs> <laughs> you and I are like... <laughs> It yes, does do it that. does. <laughs> so. We'll just be laying in bed. And the whole mattress <laughs> will fall. But so it didn't come with these those little... It's not when we're just laying. <laughs> <laughs> it's not sturdy. That's what I'm telling you. Well, yes, it is sturdy. It doesn't have the little wood slats that go underneath the But we the can literally screen. shave. We can be sitting on the side of the bed and it just plops over. Yeah. So, Nebraska, here we come. Or Sean, what's the name of that place I went the other day? I don't Chance, know. Chance, Riley Chance. They have one I love. Okay. Anyways, well, we'll see how this goes. Okay, y'all. Stay tuned. Peace.